Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've seen some pretty significant updates to the close range meta here in Warzone recently. And so today I wanted to go through and break down all the best options you have for close range engagements and give you guys the best loadouts for them. We're starting off first, usually within the close range meta. I always like to include some sniper support options as well. I would say those two sort of, you know, cross over and overlap a little bit here. So the FR Advancer, a surprisingly good sniper support option here in Warzone as of right now. One of my favorites in the game too. I love the feel of this thing. It's aggressive for a rifle, relatively easy to use, and boy, does it get the job done. So initially here, I got the Spirit Fire Suppressor. This is one of my favorite suppressors in the game, better range, velocity, and control. Control. But if you want even more control, you could also upgrade to the Jack BFB. As we know, this thing's pretty crazy. Sure, you show up on the uh, mini map as an advanced UAV dot, but in close range gunfights or sniper support style gunfights, that's not a huge deal. And not having elevation could almost be an advantage. So either of those are going to work really, really well. I've also got the FR-435 barrel. This helps out with velocity and control. Hurts your range a tad bit, but this thing's got really good range. That's not a huge deal breaker by any means at the end of the day. Ruin Heavy Support, one of my favorite under barrels in the game because it directly attacks horizontal control, which obviously is the hardest to predict. So this makes your weapons a lot more easy to use. 60 round extended mag here, even for sniper support. I mean, 45 is sufficient, but this thing's got a decent fire rate. I like to have that safety net of 60, so I go ahead and run that. Then I'm not too huge on the irons. I go for the uh, MK3 reflector, your basic ELO site. You could use a NIDAR, you could use a red dot, whatever you are the most comfortable with here. Always go for that. But yeah, the FR Advancer is very, very good for sniper support slash some close range style gunfights. Now, of course, the general close range meta is largely dominated by SMGs. Basically, every single MW3 SMG right now is really really good. The rival, for instance, insane mobility. I love how fast and how snappy and aggressive this thing is. You can fly and fry with this thing. I find it to be pretty easy to use, so I just go for a basic Shadow Strike Suppressor in this case. This just simply keeps me off the radar, and that's it. No other pros or cons. The Edge BW4 hand stop solid. It uh, goes all in on mobility. Movement speed, strafe speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire just makes this even more aggressive. It hurts your hip fire a tad bit, but I'm focusing on ADS and where I'm the most accurate. You could go 40 or the 50 round mag. 50 is going to be a little bit slower. Both are sufficient. Just comes down to how much you care about those extra 10 bullets. But there's really no wrong answer there, if I'm being honest. The Vice Assault Rear Grip is basically free control. It's only hurting your idle sway. But in close range gunfights, that doesn't really matter whatsoever. So you're getting some decent gun kick and horizontal and vertical control out of that. And lastly, I go for the Tactical Stock. This helps out with mobility yet again with movement speed, strafe speed, and sprint to fire. So like I said, this thing flies and this thing fries. Now we just talked talked about it the other day but the AMR9's buffs with season one reloaded made this thing absolutely a top tier choice in the close range meta unfortunately it's still the slowest SMG out of the bunch for run and gun styles it's sprint to fire sucks and you really got to focus on your upper body shots to make this thing truly great but with this build in particular I find it to be easy to use and you get a decent sprint to fire stat back out of it so you can somewhat compete with those other uh, SMG's mobility stats so initially shadow strike suppressor I don't want to obviously slow this thing down or hurt the control more on it by using something else instead i'm opting for a skeletal vertical grip which actually does help out with my control a tad bit hurts your horizontal but for close range not a deal breaker and gives me better ads and sprint to fire which is extra important the 50 round mag i would not suggest 100 here it's going to be way way too slow and the fire rate's not crazy so 50 is absolutely going to work I don't love the irons here. I've kind of gone back and forth with them. Admittedly, I've used them in some cases. Other times I've dropped them and gone for, you know, a laser sight or a rear grip, even for some better control. Like Phantom is actually really, really good as well for ADS and Sprint to Fire. So you could swap that out if you wanted to. That's a good choice, uh, especially if you really want to focus in on that Sprint to Fire stat. Also, the uh, buffer tube stock focusing in all on mobility gives you some insane benefits there. So this really speeds this thing up, makes it a lot more aggressive. And you got some versatility in exactly how you want to approach the build, but it is way better than it was before. Now, the Wasp Swarm did actually see a nerf recently here that did affect largely its mid-range and its longer range. Its close range, those first 10 meters or so, is still very, very good. So it's going to fry for that true close range meta. Uh, but keep in mind, its versatility is going to be a bit more lacking compared to pre-update. This setup, though, it's just a ton of fun to use. We got the NIDAR optic on here just to make you extra accurate. I feel like that's a super clean close range gunfight. The 100 round drum so that you never have to worry about not having enough bullets to take somebody out. We do use the DR6 hand stop to speed us up since obviously some of that stuff like the 100 round drum uh, does slow you down a little bit. So that helps bring that mobility back up there. I've got the Reckless 90 long barrel mainly for the range benefits here to give you that best damage range possible uh, with that faster TTK obviously. And then lastly, 
Jack BFB, baby. All the control in the world for close range. That radar ping doesn't really matter all that much. And this thing allows you to be extra accurate, extra lethal with it. So ton of fun to rock this setup. It's a little bit slower, but it shreds still. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel or you simply haven't subscribed yet, every single day, I'm your one-stop shop for news, updates, patch notes, meta breakdowns. It's all right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with that kind of stuff. And if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It really does help the channel grow. Now, the Striker 9 really hasn't seen many updates since launch. It's just been a consistent option overall, right? This thing is pretty easy to use. Got a decent TTK and some decent range as well. So you can kind of use this in some close range and even some mid range fights for an SMG. I don't love the iron sights in this case, so I go for the ELO sight. It's going to make me a little bit more accurate and that preference to me matters a lot. But if you're okay with the irons, go for a laser, go for a stock, speed it up a little bit. 40 round extended mag or 50 if you're okay with being a little bit slower. No wrong answer yet again. The choke angled grip is pretty solid here. Hurts your vertical, but this gun doesn't have much of that. And it gives you better horizontal and gun kick and better movement speed and better uh, strafe speed. So makes it a little bit more aggressive. I like that two for one there. Shadow Strike Suppressor, just keeping me off the radar. And then also the long barrel here extends that better damage range. Gives you some better velocity for some of those mid-range fights too easily easily one of the most versatile smgs that we've got in the game now the other striker just the base striker is phenomenal as well also one of the most forgiving guns in the game it doesn't really matter if you're hitting torso shots or leg shots it's ttk is not going to alter all that much and it's a faster ttk as well which is really nice to see so it's another easy weapon to use so i go for shadow strike suppressor the msp 98 hand stop here actually ends up hurting my horizontal a tad bit but once more not a huge deal that said bw4 is great here dr6 is great here yeah uh, even choke as well like you got a lot of options for this thing just really depends on how you want it to feel whether you want better strafe speed better uh sprint to fire whatever the case is no real wrong answers there seven milliwatt laser snap your ads and sprint to fire 48 round extended mag is sufficient for me then i go for the light stock for some better movement speed in general you could even try no stock if you wanted to it's going to increase that control a little bit maybe you want to switch over to the jack bfb for that extra control but you can definitely mess around here and see what works well for you this thing like i said is so forgiving that you can really test out a lot of different style builds and Pretty much all of them are going to work. And then we also got to talk the HRM9. This thing is an absolute monster for the close range. Good mobility, really good TTK. It's quickly become one of my new favorite choices in the game. That said, I wish my 50 round drum worked. At the time that I'm recording this video, still not unlocked. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, it'll actually be working for me. But that's why I only have four attachments on here. I'm missing that 50 round drum, so I'd recommend putting that on. The assault grip here helps out with control basically for free. Again, only hurting that idle sway. So no real con there for uh, close range gunfights. No stock, which I'm only using because... It kills the control, but I can make up for it with the Jack BFB yet again. And for close range, having that no elevation ping can help out when it uh, comes to trying to flank enemies or, you know, trick them with uh, where you're going to be at. And then you can just fry them with this thing when you take them by surprise. I also use the long barrel in this case uh, because I love the iron sights that it gives it very much so growl like. The thorn is another really good choice too if you just want to focus on mobility and be a little bit more aggressive there. So either or works well for that. But yeah, this thing as a new addition is absolutely phenomenal. And then kind of my D default smg if you will is the wasp 9 this is one of my favorite if not my favorite smg uh just since the launch really even when the swarm was so good even when we've seen some other options this has just been my constant i love the feel of this thing reminds me of the milano from cold war it's just reliable it gets the job done it's easy to use so i'm going for shadow strike got the dr6 hand stop for that better mobility the 40 round mag works well with this fire rate it never really is in a situation where i feel like i'm running out of ammo too soon but you could jump up to 50 if you really wanted to i don't love the irons here they're a little bit too bulky so i go for the elo site then factory stock for the better mobility the better sprint speed strafe speed and whatnot is going to help out a lot there so it's aggressive it's easy it's got a phenomenal ttk it's checking all the right boxes then also the lockwood 680 is a really good close range option too uh it's never going to truly like one shot but you can get two to three shot knocks here and it's got a decent fire rate it's really aggressive as well and for a shotgun build it's actually a ton of fun to use i would say so initially sawed off mod here just going all in on mobility they're making it a lot more aggressive in general i'm always adsing with my shotties so seven milliwatt laser here for that better ads and sprint to fire hand stop as well for that better mobility across the board i want to make this thing as aggressive as i can the defender barrel going to make it easier and more reliable for those two to three shot knocks in the close range you can take on multiple enemies at the same time with this just gives you some stability there that you might not have otherwise then the bryson choke for the tighter uh pellet spread in general there you could in theory use this hip fire uh, i'd change around you know to a hip fire based laser if you wanted to only do that but if you find yourself in a situation this will still be good enough for the hip but ideally adsing this thing's gonna be very very dominant and compete with those other smgs 
And that being said, that's how the close range meta plays right now, post season one reloaded and some of the other meta updates that we've seen recently. And that's going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, you want to guarantee that every single day you are up to date with all things going on in COD, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you later. Peace out.